I'm the hunter of fish. I hunt fish. I catch fish. That's my business. I catch bass. And today, business is good. Let me tell you what's up today. I'm fishing a one-on-one -on -one tournament out on Long Lake near Kalamazoo, Michigan. I've never been here once in my life. Real good group of guys, Michiana bass anglers, run these tournaments. I've had success with them against the, in the past, but it's some pretty stiff competition out here, and I've got my work cut out, especially having never been here. So my strategy early on, I obviously studied the, the maps, Google Earth and, and the graph of my hummingbird. Now I'm really studying the maps, my graph, I should say. I'm looking for bait fish, and I've really got my eyes open for uh, surface activity. I'm definitely seeing some surface activity here. No one else is on this spot. So either that's a great thing or it's really bad. Because I know most of these guys have some familiarity with this lake. We're going to find out. Oh, we got an easy keeper here. Well, that's how you get it done. I'm told it's going to take about 12 pounds to win today. I get five of these butt babies. I might hit that 12 pounds. So that first fish was caught on a finesse worm. There's all sorts of surface activity out here. You can see the little bait dimpling the surface. And uh, I just threw that worm out there. And all honestly, I, not being here, I wasn't sure what else to throw. And hey, what? It's kind of hard to beat a wacky worm. And he's probably he was probably in 12 foot of water, and I actually felt my line. I mean, I felt the bite. Hey, Pat, Andy Bus here. I I apologize. I'm doing all right. I apologize for calling. Hey, real quick question. Are Alabama rigs allowed with this group? They are allowed. Okay. That's all I need here. Thanks, sir. Bye. That's a good one. That's kind of fish I that's kind of fish I need right here. I'm so glad I made that call to find out if the circuit allows the A-Rig or not. Because if you've been watching me the last couple of years, you know I love the A-Rig. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen. I can feel it. They're going to eat this A-Rig. Yeah, I told you. I told you they're going to eat it. This is probably the smallest of the three. But I think he'd be keeper number three. And less than an hour into the tournament. Let me tell you, this fish is no slouch. I won't carry fry it. Carry fry that sucker! <laughs> Holy smokes! Oh, thank you, Loch Ness Lures, for the great swim baits. Damn it, Christmas. Andy's on fire. That one threw me off because I just started using the trolling motor to go forward and then he hit. Oh my gosh! Gary Fry that, huh? Gary Fry can't do no better! Oh man. This one feels heavy.
hit it like a ton of bricks. Is that a small mouth or is that just a nice large mouth? Oh. Well, I've been fishing for about one hour. I got one on the finesse worm pretty quick. I started seeing all this bait fish activity. Threw a couple things at him, couldn't get him to react, so I thought, well, shoot, let's throw the A-rig. I mean, that, and now here I am with a five fish limit, and <laughs> I got some good ones. Talk about things going your way. So, never let your bait, never, you're in a tournament, never not have a bait out there. It's a call fish. So that last keeper I caught, did he come hooked? Whoa, he just come unhooked like that. So the last keeper I caught, it was number five. So I went to put tags in him, but before I did that, I threw out my finesse worm just because to get a bait out there. I, as soon as I pick up my bait, there's another keeper, and I, and that's gonna call. How's that? I'm gonna let this one go because I caught this one. Oh, now that's freaking awesome. That's another quality fish, baby. This time, I was just talking earlier about you never, you start doing something, throw a line out there, because you never know when you might catch a fish. That's the second time I've done that today. This time, I was biting a sandwich. And there he is. I mean, and then I pick up my, actually my line started moving out there, so I picked it up. I might be calling, I might not be too. We got a good one again. Uh, carry fry this one, I think. Here he comes! <laughs> Holy moly, man. That's, it's one of these days. Things are coming together. It's what I call sportsmanship in our sport. Thank you, Jeremy Daniels. I'm too big of an idiot to remember where, where my uh, balance beam is. And even though we're competing against each other, he still comes over and loans me his. Thank you, sir. I'm going to let this beauty go. Get this fish out here. I've never been here, as I said earlier. I love these fish. They're freaking strong, man. I don't think he's a, he's a keeper, but I don't think he's going to help me out. But yet, man, he's fighting like he's... <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day. I mean, that's a solid keeper, and I'm going to just throw him back. It's, uh, I tell you, I, I just have, uh, I've timed this thing out just well. I read the map, obviously, correctly to start where I did. I have not left that stretch yet, and I got to be pushing 13 pounds at least, and what I understand, that's, that's some winning weight out here, and I'm just alternating between that Alabama rig and the worm right now. At some point in time, I think I'll head to the docks, but right now I'm going to keep working this until they stop biting. <laughs> So, 
I went to the docks. Things are slowed down a little bit at Main Lake, and it's getting warm out here. And these are some real shallow flats. There's not a lot of structure and cover for them here. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of perch grass and some small weed beds. So I think that just kind of forces them to come to the obvious structure, which is docks. So I actually saw him uh, underneath that pontoon boat before I cast to him. And I'm hoping that's the first of many to come. And I need some big ones. I've actually had a real good day on the water for a lake I've never been to. Only thing left to do is to go weigh them in. You leave them in there. That must be a big one. I think so. Or, well, yeah. You got five? Yes, sir. Three, four. Three, four. I like the same one as I bet you his weight. I bet you his weight's bigger. What? Well, I can make Jesus. No little ones. I don't know why you want to weigh any little ones, Danny. I don't make any sense to me, but I'm gonna say probably 15. No. Get the freaking. That was close. That's called the nitro live well right there. Yeah, I'm telling you. 14 to 2. 14 2. It's always nice to get a W. It was fun to explore this new body of water. My success today really came down to research. I researched this lake um, on a paper map, Google Earth, and my Navionics chip. I started on a brake line that did a little bit of this, and I just, by reading it, knowing that we are here, we are in, on June 27th, 2020, that these fish are obviously not in a spawn that they're really transitioning from post-spawn to summer patterns. Started off there, no one was there, so I wasn't sure, but boy, that was a blessing in disguise. Now, I really dialed in on a whole lot of minnows being chased on the surface. And the reality is, I believe most of those fish doing the chasing and eating those minnows were the small bass that I caught. But the bigger fish I felt were underneath them. And that's why that wacky worm, I was getting some bites at the bottom and the Alabama rig that kept those baits so low. I really thought docks would play out well. I did get one good quality fish on a dock that I did weigh in, and I'm really grateful for some awesome swim baits by Loch Ness Lures. Thank you, Jeff Creech. All the tackle that I used, it's down below in the description. Check it out. Also got links to other relevant videos. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, Hunter Fish, see you on the water.